Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today this is game week 16 of the Premier League predictions. Smash the like, subscribe, let's get into the video. Alright then, so the first game, it is Brentford versus Watford. Now obviously, um, the time I am recording this, the game, I think it's probably just hit half, just about to hit half time. I don't know what the score is by the way, I actually don't have a clue, but... I know a fact um, that Brentford, are ha they haven't lost a Friday night game in quite a long time. I don't know when the last time that happened. But for Watford, you know, can they end that run for Brentford? Who knows? Brentford, their last game was a 2-2 two -two draw against Leeds. Watford, they lost at home to Manchester City. I can't lie. Watford have had some quite difficult games recently. And uh, again, it's another difficult one tonight. Obviously, both teams were in the championship last season. Um, I think Brentford did win the last meeting these two met, um, in which was in the championship. This is the first Premier League meeting between Brentford and Watford. So, yeah, um, for me, I think Brentford defensively could struggle. Defensively, I think Watford are better, but attacking-wise, it's quite tight to say because, you know, Watford, Josh King, Ismail Saar, Brentford with Tony and Buemo. For me, I think it will be a close game, but I'm going to back Watford just. I'm going to go 3-2 to Watford. <clears throat> All right, then, so the next game is Manchester City versus Wolves. Now, obviously, Manchester City with a 3-1 away win at Watford last time out. Wolves only holding Liverpool until the 94th minute. Now, that's quite impressive for Wolves, obviously. For Wolves, this will be a very difficult game. You know, City, you know, their last... Well, to be fair, City, their last actual match was in the Champions League when they lost to Leipzig. I can't lie. Leipzig did quite well that day, but obviously their last Premier League game was away at Watford. So, for City, I think they'll win this one, to be honest. You know, Wolves, they're just that mid-table team for me. I'm, I'm going to go 3-1 away... Sorry, 3-1 home win to Manchester City. Alright then, so the next game, it is Arsenal as they take on Southampton at the Emirates Stadium. Obviously, Southampton, their last match, a 1-1 draw at home versus Brighton. For Arsenal, they drew, sorry, they lost away at Goodison Park against Everton. Obviously, for Southampton, you know, they literally conceded in like the 98th minute. It was pure limbs in the away end for Brighton, but for Southampton, it must be in despair for them. But, you know, this is, this will be a difficult game. Obviously, Jared Gillett, Australian referee, will be refereeing, will be refereeing this game. So, yeah, and for Arsenal, though, you know, quite embarrassing defeat against Everton. But for me, I think um, I think Arsenal should come back and win this one. I'm going to back Arsenal. Arsenal 3, Southampton 0, 3 0 to Arsenal. OK, then, so the next game, it is Chelsea versus Leeds United. Obviously, Leeds, their last game, a 2-2 draw versus Brentford for Chelsea. They played in the Champions League in midweek and drawing 3-3 in St. Petersburg as they drew away with Zenit. Obviously, for Chelsea, they were 2-1 down at half-time in St. Petersburg. It was quite a poor performance from Chelsea. I think Chelsea, you could say, were the better team in the second half, but I just consider that last-minute goal. Uh, from the Zenit player, but for Chelsea, you know, they'll want to win this game, so will Leeds, to be fair, you know, I think if I was a Leeds fan, I would 100% take a point against Brentford, you know, Brentford are a good side, for me, I am going to back Chelsea, just though, it will be a tough game, well, I, I think it will, uh, not a tough game, I think it will be like, I think it will be a close game, I think Leeds will give Chelsea a good game, but I think Chelsea are going to come out winners, Chelsea 2, Leeds 1, 2 on Chelsea. Alright then, so the next game sees Steven Gerrard returning to Anfield as Liverpool take on Aston Villa at Anfield tomorrow. Now, this is going to be a very big moment for Steven Gerrard. Obviously, he hasn't been at Anfield for quite a long time. And obviously, for Villa, again, it's another big game. Obviously, Villa, their last game was... the last game, Villa, they beat Leicester... That was a big win for them, obviously, you know. Oh, I, I, big, big up to Villa, who, who, well, big up to Villa and Leicester, to be fair, because both of their players 
and stop to clap and remember off. And that that was very good, and that was very kind and very good from the players of both teams. But you know, for Villa, you know it's going to be a tough game. I think they played quite well against Leicester. Obviously, I watched the first few minutes before I put on the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So yeah, um, for Villa, as I said, I think they did well. Liverpool, I did watch their game against Milan. And I can't lie, Milan gave it all they got. But I think in the second half, I think Liverpool were much better. You know, it's Liverpool, they're at Anfield. And I think it will be a defeat for Villa. Liverpool 3, Villa 1, 3-1 to Liverpool. Alright then, so the next game is our Saturday evening kickoff. It is Norwich City versus Manchester United. Obviously, Manchester United, uh, they drew with young boys. Norwich losing to Spurs. And uh, for Norwich, I can't lie... I think they played quite well on the attack against us and, uh, you know, it's going to be difficult. Manchester United at home, it will be difficult for them. You know, United got the likes of Ronaldo and that. Obviously, I didn't watch the United game, but what I was hearing from Molly, apparently young boys have played quite good. So, will United struggle in this one? I don't think they will. I think it'll be a comfortable win for United. I'm going to back United quite easily here. Sorry, Norwich. Norwich nil. United 3-3-0 three, three, no United. Now, the next game, we would have moved on to Brighton against Tottenham. But the game has been postponed due to coronavirus at Spurs. So, obviously, we will, we will not be predicting that game. So, the next game we do move on to is Burnley against West Ham. Now, Burnley, obviously, their last match... Burnley, their last match was obviously... A Burnley, their last match was a 1 0 defeat away in Newcastle. You know, Burnley haven't been too great recently for West Ham, though. They suffered a defeat in the Europa League against Dimino Zagreb. Also, the next two fixtures for West Ham will to finish off 2021. They have uh, Burnley, Arsenal, Norwich, Tottenham in the Carabao Cup, Southampton, Watford. And then they play Watford and their first game of the new year is against Crystal Palace away. Now, uh, the West Ham, I think they should come back and win this one. You know, both teams are missing some players, especially Burnley, you know. Uh, they've got no Barnes, no me. Um, I think they've got a few players out from COVID. So, yeah, uh, for Burnley, I think they're going to get battered in my opinion. Burnley nil, West Ham 3-0 three, three for West Ham. All right, then, so the next game is Leicester City versus Newcastle United. Leicester City, two defeats on the trot, and obviously Leicester out of the Europa League after a 3-2 defeat against Napoli last night. Obviously, the, you know, um, they were losing 1-0, then they were 2-0 down Leicester, then they pulled it back to 2-1, then they pulled it back to 2-2, Obviously, Napoli winning 3-2 from El Maz's goal in the 53rd minute. Obviously, and that means Leicester will be playing in the Europa Conference League playoffs. Obviously, it was a heartbreaking night for the Foxes in Naples. And, you know, they've got a few tough games coming up. Um, they've got Newcastle, Tottenham, I'm not sure yet. Then they've got Everton, Liverpool, uh, Man City. And then they got Liverpool again um, on the 28th of December. So, uh, you know, for, for Leicester, they've got a few tough games coming up. And for Leicester, I didn't really hear much stuff about the Napoli game. But Leicester, apparently, they just weren't too good on their day. I did watch a bit of it. I think, I think Bar Barnes' goal was superb, by the way. Um, Newcastle, you know, again, I think this could be another game that they could win. You know, obviously, their first win of the season, 1-0 against Burnley. Callum Wilson with the goal. Obviously, the last time I watched Newcastle, I watched the first few minutes of their match against Norwich. And I, when, I, when I did watch that Norwich game, I think it was a bit 50-50, in my opinion. Um, you know, the, the goal uh, from Puka, that was, a great, that was a great finish. But Leicester, they are missing quite a lot of players. They are missing Lookman, Perez, Amate, uh, Justin, Vestergaard, Iheanacho, Pereira and Fafana. Um, so are Newcastle, to be fair, but they're only missing like Fabian Cher and Ryan Fraser. For me, I think Leicester are going to lose. You know, they've got a lot of players out. They've lost the last two. I can't see Leicester winning. I'm sorry. I'm going Leicester 1, Newcastle 2. I'm going 2-1 to Newcastle. 
All right then, so the next, well, the last game even is Crystal Palace against Everton. Obviously, Everton, they did beat Arsenal to one, and that, and they, that was a big game for us and a big win as well. But they are still missing some players, Everton. They're missing Calvin Lewin, Alan Davis, and Yerry Mina. So, saw some big players out. Palace only missing MacArthur, Anderson, and Ferguson. Obviously, last time these two met at Selhurst Park, it was a 2 1 home win to Everton. The last time Palace beat Everton at home, you have to go, well, you have to go back to. Wow, it's, it's been actually quite a long time um, since Palace last beat Everton at Selhurst Park. So Everton recently, they've done quite well at Crystal Palace away. But, you know, in the previous 16 games, two wins for Palace, eight draws and six wins for Everton. So that's quite good, to be fair. You know, looking, um, obviously, you know, I think realistically, you know, Palace have 38% chance of winning. Everton are with 37. A draw is 25%. I think this should be quite a good game. You know, Palace, their last match, 1-0 uh, defeat away at Manchester United. Everton, obviously, they beat Arsenal 2-1. I did watch a bit of that Everton game. I think Everton, they did well. You know, Richarlison was on fire. And I think he'll be up for this. And I think Everton will give it all they got. But for me, I think Palace, their, their attack's too strong, in my opinion. I think Everton will win. Not Everton. I think Palace will win, but I think it'll be a tight game. I think Everton will give it all they got, but I think Palace are going to win this one. I'm going to go Palace 2, Everton 1, 2-1 to Palace. Alright then, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, by the way, it is my birthday tomorrow, so there won't be much, of, there won't be probably any videos tomorrow. So, I'll be probably back recording on Sunday, um, on the 12th of December. Obviously, by the way, there will be no match they preview for the Brighton game, as obviously the game has been postponed. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash a like, subscribe. This, this will probably be out in the morning, because, you know, yeah, um, yeah.